Hi, and welcome to Bold Baking Basics. This is where we get stuck into the fundamentals of baking. These videos are about getting you to bake with confidence anytime, anywhere. Right now, I'm gonna show you how you can make marzipan at home, saving you time and money. You often see it used on Christmas cakes, wedding cakes, and even molded into shapes like fruits and vegetables. As always, the recipe can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com along with all of my other recipes. Okay, let's get stuck in. This is a super easy recipe. So the main ingredient in marzipan is one of my favorites actually. It is ground almonds, also known as almond meal or almond flour. So just go ahead and add that into your nice big bowl. Sometimes this can be blanched or you can see bits of the skin. Don't worry, you can use either. I also have a recipe on my website of how you can make it at home. Into our almonds, we're gonna add in our powdered sugar, followed by regular granulated sugar. Then just mix these ingredients together. You just wanna make sure that they're all the way combined. And if you see any lumps, go in there and break them up with your hands. So our next ingredient are eggs. Now don't worry, if you don't eat eggs, you can always replace them with a flax egg. That will work really well. I'm gonna use egg yolks. You can also use egg whites if you want to get more of a whiter marzipan. It's really up to you. I'm just gonna use yolks because I had them in my fridge. So into our yolks, we're going to add in our almond extract. You want to add them in here so it gets nice and mixed before you add it into everything else. Then go ahead and pour your eggs into your almond mix. And then with a wooden spoon, just bring it all together. So you can really only start out by mixing it with a wooden spoon. What you really have to do is get stuck in there with your nice clean hands. All we're trying to do is just bring it together. It might seem a little bit dry, but just keep on bringing it together with your fingers until it forms a ball. Now, if it is a little bit too dry for you, feel free to add in a little bit of extra egg. That's totally fine. You just need the right amount for it to form a ball. Just note, if you do need to add a little bit more egg, just add a little bit at a time. There you go, super simple. It all came together in one nice big ball and you have a clean bowl. And that's how you know you did a good job. What you want to do is store this in your fridge for around eight weeks. So the reason that I'm showing you how to make this now is because we're heading into the holiday season. And I have a series of videos coming up showing you how you can beautifully decorate a Christmas cake with marzipan, fondant, and just make it really beautiful for Christmas time. Head over to my website for lots more recipes and more basics videos just like this one. We are only getting started with Christmas around here. Head over to my holiday baking headquarters on my website and check out everything that you need for the holiday season. And I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.